And good morning guys, we are back with another weekly vlog. We ended off the last vlog with the C43 AMG and uh, BRZ and my Tacoma. So if you want to check out the last one, link in the description. We have, so we have this 993 turbo sitting here. We're going to do a little bit of paint correction on it. The paint is quite thin. We had to get a couple dents pulled out right now. I'm going to move on to that. Derek's just working on a new RAV4 with some paint protection film. We have a pretty crazy couple weeks and week in this vlog. So we'll uh, try to fill you in with everything that's going on. So let's go. I can't get over this thing. It feels like you're in a time machine. It's so cool. Let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. Alright guys, and that's it for the 993 Turbo. We didn't do too much to this car. All we did was have some dents pulled, spot polish some areas from where uh, the glue pulls were, and we just basically give it a summer prep detail. So we did a full exterior detail, then finished it in ammo creme show wax. It looks unbelievable. Let's check out some final shots. And we are back with day two in the Posh Lab. So we have a few projects going on the rest of the week. We have a GLS 63 AMG that we did a new vehicle prep last fall and now it's back for maintenance details. So now it's back, it's completely filthy. We'll do a full interior and exterior detail to it and uh, get it ready for the spring here. And then over here we have Derek working on something that we normally don't do, but sometimes we like to play with vinyl. And uh, yeah, what do we got going on Derek? Three color camel wrap on a Silverado here. Yep. Um, it's a red line edition, so we chose some colors that worked pretty well with the existing scheme. And uh, yeah, so far it actually looks really cool. It looks super cool, yeah. Yeah, it's coming along. yeah he's gonna love them for sure. Yeah. And then way at the back, we have tomorrow's project of an X6M uh, that we fully protected in February. It's in for a winter elimination detail. This is the client's winter vehicle. So we're gonna do a full undercarriage detail, take the wheels off, lean inside the wheel wells, all the suspension components, and protect everything. But for now, we're gonna start with this beast. Let's go. And we're on to the next project. We've just finished the GLS 63 AMG. It looks absolutely amazing. Derek's still working on the Silverado, coming along very well. Now we're gonna move to the back of the bay and work on an X6M that's in for winter elimination detail. So let's go. And we're starting off the winter elimination detail on the X6M. I'm not gonna go too thorough in this process, but what we do is remove the wheels. We'll clean the suspension components inside the wheel wells, the brake calipers behind the brake calipers, inside the wheels, and then Put them back on after we 
protect everything. If you want to look more into this process, I have the link to the TTRS video we did uh, last winter below, and we go through the whole process and uh, what we use. But for now, we're gonna continue on. So we are complete with this wheel, this wheel well, the suspension components, it looks absolutely amazing. It's amazing how these pieces always get ignored and they don't get thoroughly cleaned. And with the, cal with the calcium chloride brine and with all the salt they use on the roads, this is so important to do for the longevity of your vehicle, your suspension components, all your parts. So we're going to continue on. Now that we've finished the winter elimination detail, we finished the entire wheel wells, the wheel faces, and we just finished washing the whole exterior. Now we're gonna finish it in Kamikaze Overcoat. So Overcoat is a, a protective layer that you put on top of coatings because we recently, this past winter, we fully protected it. We put new film on this, we did a full paint correction and coated it. It washes absolutely incredible. Uh, so these top up coatings usually wanna do twice a year. So we're gonna do it now. And now we have finished with the GLS 63 AMG and the X6M. The X6M looks absolutely amazing. Derek is still working away on the truck. How's it going, D? Good. How's the truck coming along? Actually, really well. It looks really good. I like this. Yeah, that's... Oh yeah, just barely. There it is. So basically from here, I've got the back side of the box on this side, the roof and the tailgate. Not to do, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's, Let's see what it's done. All right guys, so we're finished up with the Silverado, as you can obviously see. So we went with satin black, uh, gloss dark gray, and carmine red. And I actually think these colors complement the truck really well, especially with it being the red line edition. Um, ties in with the stripes and the wheels really nicely, and all the other black accents that were on the truck. I think it actually looks better. Yeah, no, it's it, it does. The whole front grill section. It, it looked like a mask. It looks like, yeah, it looks <laughs> like some kind of superhero kind yeah. of car, but now it actually like suits it. Kind it looks of, really good. Yeah, as you can also see, the badges on the Redline Edition are black with this little red outline. Yeah. Um, so actually what he did was he supplied some badges for the back, um, for the trim level, because the Redline doesn't show that it's an LTZ. So we put those on for him as well after we did the wrap. That and looks uh, so good. Yeah, no, it finishes it off really, really nicely. Definitely one of the best ones we've done. Because we've done quite a few, right? Yeah, yeah, we've done a few of them already. But uh, no, like you said, I, I think this is probably one of my favorites. Sometimes it's, it's hard trying to plan out where every shape's gonna go and how it's gonna look. But this one flows really, really nicely. Awesome, thanks guys.